Hi everyone, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome to another episode of my bit. Hi everybody, so you might notice something a bit different. My hair has changed. I actually had a little bit of a hair dilemma um, because I had to get it done, but um, I had to do the roots and I'm not used to bleaching them. So I had some friends do it for me, which was awesome, but then I had to go home and dye it myself because it was so late and I didn't have gloves. So this happened. It's not so bad anymore, but... <laughs> Um, let this be a warning to all of you, if you are planning on dyeing your hair, make sure to have gloves, make sure to have gloves. You know, for me, it was a pretty bad scenario, because it was like, either I have bleached roots for a day, or I, and I have to go out and get gloves with the bleached roots, or do this to my hands. So. Uh, rubbing alcohol has been my friend, but my hands are hella dry, so please don't do that. Please don't. <laughs> Just one more thing I wanted to mention before I get to the main point of this whole video thing, is that um, for my 1k subscriber giveaway, one of the winners did not contact me back, unfortunately. I waited a week, and I just did not hear from him, and I'm really sorry if you get this, and then you're like, what gives? I didn't get it. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, I can't just have that kind of stuff waiting around, so uh, congratulations to Pixel Nut. You should check her out. She's awesome. She ended up winning the redraw, so I sent out the packages the other day, and I can't wait till you guys get them. Just let me know to all the winners. Let me know when you do get them. I am really, I'm a little bit worried because it is Christmas time and I want to make sure you get them before Christmas. Um, especially one, one of you. So, crossing my fingers here. So my main point for today's video is actually a fun little uh, series of unboxings and little surprises I wanted to show you. Some really cool people I know on Twitter and on YouTube uh, sent me some packages for some really great stuff. So I'm going to start off with a really great guy named Ken Collins. Um, who I had recently met. I believe we met through Twitter initially, um, but he's part of a group in uh, Norfolk, Virginia called 757RB or Ruby, I'm assuming it is, um, and he's part of this software development group in Norfolk, um, and they just do like community events, workshops, and just seminars on, I think, primarily programming um, and you know, hence Ruby. Ruby is uh, a language that I actually only just heard of and I looked into it more and it's actually pretty cool. So he, um, he, he uh, ended up having a fundraiser or him and, and the rest of the, the group, 757, had a fundraiser um, where they could just raise funds so they could have speakers come to Virginia and yeah, just just talk. You know, I um I don't actually have very much history in programming myself. However, I do really like to help support people who are looking at um I don't know, creating community within technology. Um and that's something that I do a lot in uh, in some events that I go to here, such as FITC. Now, I primarily focus on things like marketing and design, but programming has been an aspect of uh, software development um, and hardware development that I've been very much interested in and I've learned more and more about. I love going to those events because they teach me so much. So um, during the fundraiser, they were giving away um, t-shirts. So if you did, um, you know, like spread the word or give a donation, then whoa, my stuff fell. <laughs> then you get um, you get this awesome shirt. So this is actually really cool. Um, so it's got a nice little mermaid on it and has the ruby. Now this all actually has a bunch of meaning to it too because apparently I was looking up um, stuff about the community and Norfolk, Virginia apparently has a lot of mermaid statues and I looked into it and it totally does and I thought that was really cool. Um, and then on top of it is Ruby for the Ruby language that I was talking about earlier. Here, you know what? Let me put this on. Ah, that's better. This is actually really comfortable. This is a very soft shirt. But, um, and I got this really cute little sticker. So, there's a lot of mermaid statues in Norfolk, Virginia, and 
you know, I mean, it's, it's actually a really great way of, um, of creating somewhat of a logo for 757. And then, like I said, Ruby is a particular language I'd only just heard of, looked into it more, and I'm really impressed by the script because it's very to the point. It's very flexible. It's very simple. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I mean, it's cool. And it's no wonder they love it so much. And it's no wonder, uh, it seems like a lot of people really love it a lot after looking into it more in forums and things. So I got this really nice shirt um, and an awesome sticker. I'm really happy to spread the word as much as I can about um, your group and just maybe help have you have speakers at your events in the future. So, uh, you know, thank you so much, Ken, for getting a, a hold of me and having me um, help do that for you. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> Next up, I got some awesome, awesome stuff from fangamer.net. Now, if you know me, you know I'm like totally obsessed with fangamer, totally obsessed. A track mode and fangamer, I could just bathe in their products because I love them. Um, and so they came out with this awesome, awesome Earthbound shirt, which I love. It is so cool. And you know what? I'm going to switch into this one now. Okay. Oh, that is so much better. And it fits awesome. And it's just an amazing print. I love this artist. I don't remember the artist's name, but I will put it in the the about section below. Now, what's really great with Fangamer is they always come with a lot of extra little things here and there. So, if you get this shirt on Fangamer, then you automatically get this really cool button. Check out this button. It's awesome. So that comes with it no matter what. And then you always get like other little things. So I'm used to getting like paper crafts and stickers and extra pins. Um, I got a little bit less this time, which I was a little bit sad about, but I did get a really cool robot Ness sticker, which I love and I'm probably gonna put back there somewhere. <laughs> and of course they have these really fun little name tags these personalized name tags. They're so cool. So this one says, our boss Erica is behind the game arcade thinking about peace and love. And they drew a little picture of, I don't even know what that is, but I love it. I like how they do that kind of stuff. It's unique slip 14 of 400. This is awesome. Slip drawn in summer 2013, illustrated by the Grinning Crow. So, very cool. Yeah, um, unfortunately, no uh, paper crafts this time. They do have some really cool paper crafts. Before, I've gotten a Moogle in the past. I've gotten Mr. Saturn, um, which I totally destroyed because it was my first paper craft, but he's hiding there somewhere. <laughs> um, so, I was... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I did get a pin. Um, I got a cool little Pokeball. Pokeball. <laughs> Really awesome. Yeah, so um, I'm still happy that they do this, that they add the little knickknacks and they personalize it for you. Like, Fangamer is awesome. And if you haven't checked them out yet, you absolutely have to, have to. Eventually, I'm sure once I've accumulated enough Fangamer stuff, I'm going to do a little collection video of everything I have by them because I love them that much. So thank you so much, Fangamer. I really appreciate it. And last but certainly not least, I got a really really nice package from um from a fellow youtuber her name is Alyssa. she goes by Alyssa white on youtube i'll make sure to link her for you she is really amazing and she has inspired me so much in the short period that i've known her she has an amazing channel you definitely need to check out and she just um i don't know you know uh, it's really nice when people can inadvertently really help you with your own problems and she definitely helped me with some of mine and some of my own personal doubts and people manipulating the way I'm thinking and feeling um, in the choices I make in my day-to-day -day life whether that has to do with blogging or vlogging or anything in between in terms of my branding. Um, branding for me is very important and it's something that I have uh, wanted to succeed in for for many 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 years to be able to work for myself has been a dream and there's been a lot of ups and downs during that period and there have been a lot of people who have told me that I'm doing this wrong or that wrong instead of looking more at the positives and the things that I have been doing good in my um, in my journey and I think that Alyssa has helped teach me that 
Um, you know, I don't need to listen to people like that. She's one of many people who have done this for me, actually. Um, that I just need to be myself and just continue being a good person. And I just, I think I started realizing that I need to have more confidence in my own abilities if I want to you know get get further and I already am but I just I was so like disillusioned by everything other people were telling me that I lost sight of myself so I do want to thank you Alyssa very much for you know being that little extra push that I needed so she sent me this really nice Christmas package so let's see what we've got here oh boy <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous here <laughs> Um, okay, this is really nice, Alyssa. I really want to thank you for this. I'm just going to throw stuff on the ground. <laughs> um, yeah, you have no idea. You have no idea, girl. You have been such an inspiration. So, I tend to do cards first. Oh, sweetie, put a little cat on it. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side first. I'm going to look at this card. I, I just... Yeah, she's she's an awesome lady, and I sent her a really cute little keychain a while ago, and I made a YouTube banner for her, which I think you should totally check out. I think it epitomizes her pretty well. Uh, wishing you that's so cute, Mickey. It's it's like retro Mickey. It's adorable. Oh. Thank you for being such a great friend to me. I just adore you. Love always, Alyssa. Look at that inside. That is so sweet. You're an amazing lady, Alyssa. It just warms my heart. This is my first Christmas card of, uh, of the year. So let's see what we've got here. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Starting Christmas early, apparently. It's not very far into December just yet. So, let's see what we've got there. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's so cool. So it's like um, a blind box and it has characters from different Zelda games. It looks like it has Ocarina of Time. Skyward Sword and Phantom Hourglass in here. That is so neat. I've never seen these little balls before. How am I going to open this? I want to open it! <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it, guys! Yeah! Okay, cool. Let's see what we've got here. I love these. This reminds me of like a giant Kinder Egg. Alyssa, I don't know if you know what a Kinder Egg is because they don't have them in the U.S., but they're just like this, but they're like wrapped in like a giant chocolate egg, um, and the ball is not usually this big. Um, oh, sweet! Oh, he comes in like pieces. So I've got little Link there. He's got actually a lot of detail on him. He looks pretty good. And then his little legs. He looks like he's the one from Skyward Sword. So let me put this together. Check this out. He's like totally rocking the bendy master sword. <laughs> I gotta fix his sword. Oh no. <laughs> He's totally rocking it though. So this is Skyward Sword Link. There's a lot of detail if you look at the back as well. His face looks kind of funny. <laughs> but I love it. I love this so much. So it looks like on here so you can get six so there's one for Skyward Sword, uh, Link or Zelda. You can get Phantom Hourglass um, as well. And you can get Kid Link and Kid Zelda too. So check that out. That is so cool. I love this so much. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see what else we've got here. I'm going to put him over there first. Um, and yeah. What's this? Let's see. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> He's so cute! Holy cow! Oh my god! Asha, what? 
Wash a what? Wash a what? I love water types. I love water type Pokemon, and he looks like a little otter. How can you not like otters, anyways? Holy shit! Ah, that's so freaking cute! Oh my god, he has the little clam in his hand. So adorable. This is so cute. Oh. I needed a plush toy, you know? Like, my boyfriend doesn't give me plush toys. He's like, no, you have enough of them. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so crazy. I love it. Hi. So cute. I love Pokemon. I love my water type. Although, in the latest game, I didn't get a water type. I ended up getting um, Fennekin. But Oshawott is so adorable. Look at the little smile. I'm like, yeah. New home. This is your new home. Oh, yay. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alyssa. I really appreciate this. So, guys, if you haven't checked out her channel, please do. She's a really cool lady. Um, I will link to her somewhere here. Um, but, yeah. Wow. Thanks, girl. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Ken from 757. Thank you, Fan Gamer, and thank you, Alyssa. This means so much to me. These are really cool. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this all with you and just introduce you to all these amazing people and things. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in again very soon for another video, okay? Hey, peace.